Hi, this is Linda and Aaron with Traveling Flamingo. Thank you so much for joining us today for our review of the Fairmont Chateau Whistler. If you like being outdoors and in nature, this is probably a hotel that you want to check out if you're ever in British Columbia, Canada. Whistler is definitely a beautiful place to go. Beautiful mountains, lots of lakes, and lots of oceans. There's also great snow in the winter. In the summer, it's beautiful warm weather as well. You really can't go wrong here. Chateau Whistler is open year round. It was built in 1989, so it's fairly new. And it's modeled after the iconic Canadian style chateau buildings, which you'll see you know, quite a number of places in Canada. Fairmont Chateau Whistler is located in Whistler Village. It does have its own restaurants in the resort, but as it, you are in Whistler Village, there's lots of great opportunity to try local restaurants as well. This is a regular resort, so there's an, a number of different amenities. There's a lap pool, there's an indoor and outdoor swimming pool, there's a bunch of hot tubs. One thing that I would add is on the afternoon where we decided to go to the pool, it was really busy. It was a busy weekend we were there, it was the Ironman weekend but there were not very many seats available at the pool and I don't know if that's because they expect people to be off doing different activities in Whistler. Just past the pool area here, they've got a whole bunch of uh, free weights. They've got a little gym area set up where you can have cardio. They've got weight machines. They've got uh, spin bikes. They've got treadmills. They've got pretty well everything that you'd want uh, in a resort gym. It was actually really good, really big compared to some that are just closets. There's also a full conference center here where you can have meetings. They also have uh, equipment rentals, so you're able to rent snowboards or um, in the summer bikes and so forth. If you're familiar with Fairmont, you'll know about the gold floor, which is considered to be a hotel within the hotel. Each gold floor will have a different option for food that they have available during the day. Here they had a breakfast service, a lunch service, hors d'oeuvres, as well as desserts in the evening. So we did choose to have our breakfast here every day. The food was very fresh, there was a good variety. Each day there was different food options, so even though we went for breakfast every day, it wasn't the same. They also have an honor bar for alcohol. I mean, we really enjoyed it. One of the, our favorite things we got there were the chocolate bear claws that they had. And the staff there were great. If you have any allergies, we saw them making a young girl a special dessert in the evening for an allergy that she had. So they really will accommodate a variety of people's needs as well. Yeah, the, the gold floor is great. They've got this little lounge area where they also have teas and coffees and you can have your hors d'oeuvres or you can have these different foods. And a lot of the foods like the chocolate you can see here actually come from different areas inside of the resort. So you can purchase these separately and you know if you're gold floor you're able to just get them here for free. You don't have to pay for it. They also do, as Linda said, have an honor bar and that honor bar uh, you, you write down on a chit what you've decided to drink and you can basically serve yourself. If you're interested to see what our room looked like, we had an executive room at the Chateau Whistler, and we'll put a link to that uh, just above if you're interested to see what the rooms are like. One of the restaurants that was recommended for us to try is Portobello. It is a barbecue restaurant. There's beautiful indoor and outdoor seating. It is different than most restaurants. It's not a sit down per se. You actually go up to the bar to, or you go up to the counter to order your food. They prepare it all there, then you go and sit down. So they seat you uh, as normal and you have a, a server who will bring you drinks, but you get up and you go to the counter and you tell them what you want and they punch a card. And then at the end, when you're finished eating, you just go ahead and hand that card to the cashier and you pay. The inside of the restaurant's very modern, very new. It feels quite rustic. You can tell it's a fairly new uh, restaurant. It was very nice, very nice uh, atmosphere. All the food we had was very fresh. We really enjoyed it. There were a couple things we would recommend ordering and would definitely get again if we went back. And you know, some people make fun of others for messing with poutine, but sometimes Canadians mess with poutine as well. So I will share with you what we thought of their poutine. <laughs> Yeah, they had a lot of really, really nice barbecued and smoked foods. Uh, very flavorful. They had uh, some really amazing desserts there as well. Lots of, uh, lots of good chocolate and uh, sort of cheesecake-based desserts. Really, really did enjoy what they had on the menu. 
they had, uh, you know, stuff that was spicy and stuff that wasn't too spicy. So, you know, we, we really did enjoy what was there and what they offered. The way in which you go and order and you stand up and, and sort of order your food and so forth was a bit different. I wouldn't say that we necessarily loved that, but it was nice to see all the food and to sort of have a view of what you're going to get before you actually order it. So this is the poutine. Not what we expected with the roasted red skin potatoes. The pulled pork was great. The cheese curds were really fresh. But when we have poutine, we expect french fries. We also got the ribs with a side of mac and cheese. Hands down, we would get this again. The ribs were great and the mac and cheese was really flavorful. Erin, definitely there's a bit of fork wars going on there as we were trying to share it. Yeah, the, the sauces were very flavorful. Uh, everything that we got uh, on this plate was really good. They also had a nice little local shop here. Uh, it's within the restaurant. They sold uh, local honeys and they sold different sort of knickknacks uh, that are Canadian. You could also get a lot of this food to go. So if you did want to eat uh, in your hotel room or you didn't have time, you know, you're getting ready to go and do something else, you could go ahead and get that food to go. So, you know, really neat little area, and if you're in your hotel room and you wanted to pick up something quick, you could do it here as well. This is the Mallard Lounge. It's one of the lounges that they've got on property, and they have live music during the evening. You can get a lot of sort of uh, lounge-type foods, you know, sandwiches. They have these really great chocolates that you can buy that they also serve in the lounge. A lot of different specialty drinks, a lot of different uh, alcoholic drinks on the menu. They have things like grilled cheese and soup and salads. It's not really a full heavy meal, but they've got a lot of really good lounge-based uh, food. They got a lot of oysters, they got a lot of seafood, things like nachos, different sort of things that you would expect to see in a lounge. But again, they've got a really good drinks menu and they've got a really good drinks program going on in this restaurant. So definitely something that we enjoyed. We shared a couple things here. If you want poutine, this is the place to get it really good cheese curds the gravy was great and it was real french fries do not mess with my french fries the other thing that we shared was the chocolate espresso espresso ganache cake really nice it wasn't too heavy it was just enough for us to share that evening when we were talking about the gold floor aaron had mentioned the chocolate you can buy this is where you can buy the chocolate it is amazing we really enjoyed the hotel and everything they had to offer there. If we have the opportunity again in the future, we will most definitely be going back to the Chateau Whistler. The food was great, the activities, the amenities were really wonderful.